Welcome back to my quarterback road to glory with quarterback Dylan Grayson. Today we are in week 14 of our junior season for our last regular season game of the year against the 1-10 Washington State Cougars. We have already secured our spot in the Pac-12 championship game and we will be playing the Utah Utes, but we are looking past that. We won a national title this year, so we need to get by Washington State and hopefully not fall into a trap game. There are some upgrades I want to get though, uh, mainly wash them off to upgrade our spin and juke move. I don't really use the spin move too much, but I use the juke move, I believe quite a bit. And it looks like we get a snow game today. They got the ball first and could not do anything with it. So we come out still tied at zero and we will start our drive now. And on the first play, we're going to Rock Nelly over the middle who cannot hold on through contact. Now second and 10, we're gonna run play action here. Take the snap and we will throw that route. Never mind, we're gonna get hit as we throw incomplete. Not exactly the best start. Now third and 10 in shotgun. See if we can keep this drive alive. And we will force that to Quentin Moore who makes the catch, has the first down and still going brought down later in the drive. But there is a flag down. Flipping on Jalen Polk. All right, third and 11. All right, now third and 11 here. Let's see if we convert another third down. And this time we're just gonna air it out deep to Jalen McMillan. And that will be caught and out of bounds at the one yard line, a 53 yard play from McMillan. I wanted to look at this because I thought that was gonna get knocked out of the air, but McMillan comes up with a catch and holds onto it through contact. First and goal, we're just gonna give this to Newton and hopefully he can give us a six point lead. And Newton up the middle will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. And Washington State responds with a touchdown. So it is seven to seven when we come back out. Let's see if we can get anything on this drive here. Try to get away from the pressure and we're just gonna take off down the sideline and still going finally brought down after a 23 yard gain. First and 10 and we're looking to take a shot here on this play. Everybody's going deep, but I don't see anybody coming open and we'll try to force that to Quentin Moore and I don't know why I tried to force it. It got picked off. We didn't throw a pick all of last game. And now this one, he breaks a tackle still going and finally brought down. Not a terrific start. We are one of four and an interception to start today. And right here, we'll go to Rock Nelly, who will make the catch and hold on to it this time for the first down, gain of 21. Out on first and 10 here in shotgun, take the snap and we'll go to Rock Nelly again, who will once again make the catch for the first down, another gain of 21. I don't even think I mentioned it at the start of the drive, but we are now down by seven here. So let's see if we can get this uh, tie ball game back as we go to O'Dooms down the sideline, touchdown Washington and we should be able to tie this up at 14. And the defense manages to force a turnover, so we get the ball in Washington State territory to start this drive. And on the first play, going over the middle and getting picked off by the same safety. Are you kidding me? But the defense forces another turnover, so it is 14 to 14, and we once again get the ball in a really good field position here. And we'll go to the back of the end zone for Polk and touchdown, Washington. We come back out up by seven, about four minutes to go in the half, five wide set. And we will go to Giles Jackson down the sideline who makes the catch and gets out of bounds for a gain of 20. First and 10, Grayson in shotgun. We'll take the snap and we'll throw that one to Quentin Moore and that one gets picked. He jumped right in front of Moore. I saw him coming, but I figured Moore being like 6'5 could like box him out, but I guess not. First and 10 out of shotgun. They managed to score a touchdown, but missed the extra point. And Jalen McMillan is running wide open downfield. He makes the catch off to the races. And I don't think they're gonna catch him. Touchdown, Washington, 75 yards out. And there's the new school passing record for touchdowns. Grayson beats his own record from last year. All right, and coach has called four verticals here to open this next drive. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna go to Dunes down the sideline. And if we don't overthrow him, he might be gone. And for the second play in a row, we will score a touchdown to go up 35 to 20. We get the ball back one more time before halftime. It is first and 10 with 27 seconds to go. Let's try to throw our fourth pick of the half. But we're gonna go down the right side to O'Dunes who will make the catch. And now he's off to the races again, but gets brought down after a 58 yard play. Now first and 10 out of shotgun, 20 seconds to go here in the half. We'll take the snap and we will force that over the middle to Jalen Polk, not really forcing it. No one's covering him. Touchdown, Washington. We throw five touchdowns and three interceptions in the first half. That stat line is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and there's the passing yards record. We come out to start the next half up 42 to 20 here. And on first and 10, we'll give it to Newton up the middle and he's got a six yard gain. Now on second and four, we're gonna give it right back to Newton, see what he can do here. And Newton up the middle will get a five yard gain and the first down. 
Now we're going to run a counter play and give this to Newton again. And Newton this time will go to the outside. He's got positive yardage and still fighting. And Newton finally brought down after a nine yard gain. Second and one out of shotgun. We're going to try a screen if I can talk here. We'll go to Newton who will break a tackle and get the first down for a gain of two. First and 10 in shotgun. We're going to send everybody deep again. And McMillan immediately beat his guy off the line. Off to the races, down the sideline, and he's gone. Touchdown, Washington, 52 yards out. Kind of surprised we aren't pulled from this game yet. Maybe one more touchdown will do it. And we may get it right here. Never mind, we're getting sacked on the play for a loss of 13. So now second and 23 out of shotgun. Run the play action. And we will go down the right side to McMillan this time. Tipped around and incomplete. Third and 23 and everybody is going deep here. We'll take the snap. Roll out to the right, and I don't see anybody open, so we're just going to take off, maybe get a miracle first down. And Dylan Grayson will fight and get the first down, but I think he fumbled, and Washington State recovers, but then they fumble, and we recover. So we keep the ball. What the hell just happened? All right, we come back out. It is first and 10 now. Grayson out of shotgun will take the snap, and roll out to the left side. We are just going to take off here. Bouncing to the outside. He's got the first down and brought down after a gain of 15. On first and 10, we're just going to give it to Newton right up the middle. And Newton will run through one man and get brought down after a gain of six. Second and four out of shotgun. Run the play action and then go deep downfield to Polk, who's running open. He's got the catch and down inside the five for a gain of 38 yards. First and goal in shotgun. Grayson will take the snap and throw it to the back of the end zone. Caught by Polk. Touchdown, Washington. 56 to 20, and we should be pulled the rest of this game. Oh, we also just broke the record for most passing touchdowns in a game with seven. Washington State responds with a touchdown, so we are not pulled from this game. We will come back out and give it to Newton, who will get nothing. The question is, do I chew clock or go for an eighth touchdown pass? We'll send Newton in motion. And we'll see if anyone wants to come open deep downfield. And we will go to McMillan, who has the catch into Washington State territory for a gain of 27. And there is the record for most passing yards in a game. First and 10 out of shotgun. Run the play action. And go deep downfield to O'Dunes, who makes the catch and is brought down inside the five. A gain of 31 yards. First and goal from under center. Run the play action to Newton. Roll out, and we're just going to take off. We won't throw for eight touchdowns, but we will run in for eight. Or for our eight. Final score, 63 to 27. I have no idea what the hell that last call was. I messed up on saying what number touchdown we were running in for, but it doesn't matter. We get the win. We go to 12 and 0. We are headed to the Pac-12 championship game, most likely as the number one team in the country, but we will get to double check that. Obviously, I threw a lot of picks today, three in total, but we still get the win. We go to 12 and 0, and we are headed to the Pac-12 title game to take on Utah. Final stats on the day, 16 of 22 for 556 yards, seven touchdowns and three interceptions. Rushing wise, Newton six for 28 and a touchdown. Grayson five for 54 and a touchdown. Cameron Davis five for 17. And then receiving wise, Polk four for 91 and three scores. Odunes four for 194 and two scores. And McMillan four for 207 and two touchdowns. We jump to week 15, which is a bye week for us. We are still the number one team in the country, but the only thing I want to do is get this upgrade machine go so we upgrade our speed strength acceleration and agility and now we will advance to conference championship week our next game will be the pac-12 conference championship game it is the first time we have made it this far in our career and we are taking on the number 25 utah youth if we win we should have a ticket to the national title game hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys next time